Space. It is vast, cold, cool, and uninhabitable. A final frontier where man has spent hours of labor and study and research to understand. Hey guys, welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we like to educate you guys about every culture and people around the planet. And today, we are looking at a program and an institution that is aimed not just for exploration, but business and communication. And the institution we are looking at today is the Indian Space Research organization, which is commonly known as ISRO. Hey guys, what's going on? Dave Walton here. Now before I get in this video, I want to know from all you guys which planet is your favorite planet and why? Me, I've always liked Venus because Venus was the planet where we discovered right. global warming. Now for those who are joining us here for the first time, we take lots of recommendations from our viewers and we really like to listen to our community. And to prove that we listen to recommendations, this video itself has been recommended by so many of you. Viewers like Crazy Gamer, Annie Rude Rayo, Ishu Rai, Hector Johanna wouldn't shut up about it, and that is the stuff that we like to hear. And of course, all the rest of you, sorry we can't name them all because if we were to do it, it would take a whole video of shoutouts. But thanks for recommending it guys, and because I'm a space guy, I thought we should talk today about the Indian Space Research Organization, because it is a really fascinating program, one that is known and appreciated worldwide. Now to start off, the Indian Space Research Organization was formed on a very special day in India, and that was the Day of Independence, which happens every August 15th. However, ISRO was formed exactly on August 15th of 1969 by founder Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. And since then, it has grown to the giant organization we know of now. Now, ISRO is known worldwide, especially to other organizations like the European Space Agency and even NASA. Now, normally here on FTD Facts, we don't really like to compare like one country's achievements to another country's achievements. But as for ISRO, its budget isn't as nearly as big as NASA's. They spend over $1.2 billion a year. And in the last 40 years, they've spent half of what NASA spends in one year. Now, in 2008, this program launched a rocket with 10 satellites in it. Now that might not seem like much with Russia having the lead of 37 satellites in one rocket, but ISRO has plans to launch a rocket with 83 satellites inside it. They right. plan to use the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle XL Rocket variant to achieve this in 2007. Now two of them will be Indian satellites while the rest of them will all be nano satellites from other countries. Now speaking of their rockets, they have one called the SLV, which stands for Satellite Launch Vehicle. And this was the first rocket to be aimed to take satellites to at least 500 kilometers upward. And to give you an idea of how far that is, the Kármán line, which is the border that separates Earth from space, sits at about 100 kilometers above sea level. Now as for the SLV, the first launch was on August 10th, 1979. And out of the three following tests, only two were successful. Now although they had failures, the space program didn't give up there. No sooner after they launched the ASLV in 1987, which was the Augmented Satellite Launch Vehicle. Now this rocket also didn't have much success until the introduction of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, which was introduced in 1993. Now its first test failed, but its second test succeeded on October 15th, 1994. And that was the day India had a reliable vehicle to get to space. Now Chandrayaan-1 was a vehicle launched in October of 2008. Now this was the first probe India sent to the moon. And it's a good thing they did that because currently India is the fourth country to reach the moon and plant a flag on its surface. But on November 18th of 2008, the probe was on its way down to the surface when India became the first country to really discover water on the surface of the moon. And after a decade of arguing, scientists have agreed that because of Chandrayaan-1, there is not just water in minerals on the moon, but there is water scattered all over the surface. And following that, in 2014, India launched its first probe to Mars. In a feat that took NASA decades to do, the MOM mission has made India the first Asian country to have reached the orbit around Mars. Now, as of December 2016, India has launched over 121 satellites. 79 of them being foreign satellites. Now on May 
3rd of 2016, ISRO launched its very first space shuttle. This is the reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator, which is an unmanned smaller version of the space shuttle, but it is a stage two vehicle that can be reusable, but is currently still in testing. And if this vehicle gets positive results in the next couple of years, it may cut ISRO's production costs by 10 times. Now the Indian Space Research Organization has made amazing accomplishments from its first launch in the 1960s in Thumba, India. Currently, ISRO employs over 15,000 people who work daily at making great strides towards our future. But it doesn't just stop there. India has plans to expand the company by adding in training centers for astronauts and many more departments which will help further the knowledge of mankind. So that's it for me, guys. My name is Dave Wapla, and it's been awesome talking about this great institution. I'm glad to hear that other countries are making great strides in their space programs. But you know what, guys? If you guys got any facts that we missed, be sure to put them down there in the comments below and on top of that guys be sure to send us any future fact videos that you guys want us to do who knows what future technologies and discoveries ISRO will bring to humanity they could be technologies that will bring us better communication to all of us living on the planet or discoveries that will let us know our humble place within this vast universe to everybody in India and wish India very happy Independence Day for August 15th um, there's been thousands of years of struggle to make India free and by the uh, great will and power of the people.